Alrighty, we're back. Hopefully you guys watched the previous episode first. It's not a long one. So that was quite the climb. That would have taken like a good few minutes or so. Which just burns up time. As if you couldn't tell, yeah, I missed a missile tank or two somehow. I guess between episodes or something happened, I messed something up. It really doesn't matter. We did the best we could. Besides, it doesn't even show your completion percentage, and it has no effect on the ending. So, one last missile door, we enter to a stage left. Into Cheese Star. Shoot the two statues. To reveal a bridge. Which will take us to the final area of the game. Ooh, very scary. What's this final area? Welcome to... Torian. Be very careful. We have some dangerous foes down here. It's not, not the time keyboard. Now, since I have a lot of ammo and have stealth still, Jesus Christ. Yeah, my computer's a piece of crap. It's not usually, it usually doesn't do this when I'm recording. Anyways, 10 missiles will open the door. Head left, right to immediately get hit by a flying donut. Or ravioli. A ravioli, spaghettioli. Watch out, this place is full of that Pepto Bismol. Yeah, don't shoot them as fast as you can. You'll waste unnecessary missiles because they have a tiny bit of invincibility frames. Hi there, friends. Just blast them in a timed manner. As they drop a buttload of energy and a buttload of missiles if they ever do. Come on, guys. Drop the missiles. Please? That's a negatory. Let's wait for him to get a little lower. There we go. That's a no, too. We actually need all the missiles we can get. If we don't get any, this is going to make the end a bit more difficult. I think that was the only 10 missile door in this place. Now, come on, Metroids. I could use some help here. Let's get some missiles to drop. Oh, I need them badly too. You have plenty of ammo. Yeah, just wait till we get to the boss. No, we could be fine. Maybe we should just ignore the Metroids. Where are the Metroids anyways? There we are. Hi there, friend. Eee, that's not good. They latch on you, they'll start draining energy like mad. Yeah, look at that. 30 missiles. And that's pain. Okay, we're stuck inside them. Awesome, we got the missiles we needed. We should have more than enough to finish the rest of the game now. So, let us ignore the Metroids. Nice try, buddies. Come on. It won't let us out. There we go. Oh, Pepto. Freeze you, freeze you, and freeze you. Okay, we're gonna have to kill them. It doesn't matter. Head left and through the final door. We go to our final boss. Well, the, the boss of the game. The rest are mini bosses. Because who's this final boss? It's turrets and donuts. I don't like turrets and donuts. Actually, they're Rinkas and turrets. That's pretty much what the real final boss actually is. I am almost serious about that, actually, because the actual final boss itself is rather easy. It's just everything else that's in this room that make it incredibly difficult. Alrighty, blast through the gates. The Zebatites. This is why I said we're going to need all the missiles we could get. Yeah, that's painful, buddy. Come on. Yeah, the lag is causing us to lose our fire rate. Alright, one more gate to go. One more paywall. And there she is. The big brain herself. The big brain in a jar. Ah, rank the sparkles. Oh, this is not good. What I recommend to do is stay calm. 
freeze it. Freeze. Freeze, and there we go. And then unload into her. Yeah, you want to freeze them so you get as little lag as possible. Come on, I know you're coming, buddy. Yeah, nice try, ninja. I think it takes about 20 missiles or so to kill her. So once you've blasted her enough... Oh, you are so done. No, oh, you had to play hard to get, didn't you? You need to die. And with that... She's dead. Also, we need to get out really fast because of time bomb. Yeah, they add, they added a really nice beep instead of a dinny dinny eight bit sounds. And I have to jump up the blue fun time pills. Now this is not a hard escape, but if you keep falling down, your doom is assured. That's probably the next game I'm gonna be doing after this, but not today. So move quickly and quietly, Samus. That's an order. Any objections, lady? But in all seriousness, just take your time through this. Try not to rush. Just don't do what I'm doing, because I've practiced this a lot. And if you're fast enough, huzzah, we've made it to the end. It's a new HD ending. I love this look. Oh, look at that. Chosen chose a statue. Success. Mother Brain is no more. Zebes is safe thanks to you. The galaxy owes you its eternal gratitude. The Metroid threat is over. So they thought. And because we were fast enough, boom! We get Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, I like the ship and I like the Chozo statue detail. It makes the planet feel a little more... makes it feel better. Alrighty guys, that ends this Let's Play. What can I say about this ROM hack? It's really, really good. I have to say that now. With the ability to customize the music to anything of your liking. HD graphics that make the game look a ton better. And don't get me wrong, the original does look very good for its time. And it still looks good today. That's just my opinion. Difficulty of this game is pretty difficult. Though once you get far enough, as you can see, you become an overpowered person of destruction. You just destroy everything in your path. But to a first time player, this game can be pretty darn difficult. I can say that now. Anyways, can I recommend it to you? Yes, I could. Unlike the first time where I said don't touch this game, actually, I take that back. It's a fair challenge, though I would highly recommend using a map for it, unless you enjoy getting lost and not finding your way around. But regardless, I had a ton of fun showing this off, a ton of fun playing it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too, even though you've seen this, like, twice now. We had Metroid, and we had Retroid, and now we have Metroid HD to the collection. There's going to be probably a Zero Mission one in the future, so yeah, you're probably just dying to see that, aren't you? I'm dying to play it, but you guys aren't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. The end. Oh, by the way, if you do press start in this screen when the music ends, you can play the game over again with every power-up in the game. No energy tanks or missiles, though. But you have all major power-ups, including, I think, Various Suit. And you play the game as Various Suit Sam... Various Suit Samus. Zero Suit Samus. Or, if you're playing the original, you play as Justin Bailey Samus. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a good week, and I'll see you next Let's Play.